Oh hey there, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Oh Hey There with Jeff. Today we're going to be talking about roof racks. I'm here to talk about overlanding. From how to's, advice, gear, vehicle builds, and everything in between. The roof rack gives you a great space to put things like your rooftop tent, max tracks, alley boxes, light bars, and any cargo you might have. Now before you put all of this stuff onto your vehicle, you need to find the manufacturer's load rating for the roof. Staying at or under your manufacturer's load rating for your roof will help ensure safe handling while driving. If you're looking for a roof rack for your pickup truck with a topper, you need two racks, one for the cab and one for the topper. The reason being, those flex independently. If you have one across, you're gonna start ripping up your cab and your topper. You can get either a steel or aluminum alloy roof rack. We like to go with the aluminum alloy simply because it's lighter when you're putting things on your roof, that's what you need to consider. It's pretty simple. The other option is steel. It's very robust, more of a utilitarian roof rack. When considering how to mount your roof rack, you're gonna have a lot of options. Nowadays, you can do everything from a gutter rail, you can do the factory bolts, tracks that are on top, and you can even get roof racks that'll go into a Yakima or two liter. We use the canine rack from Easy On. There's a couple things we really like about it. One, we use their aluminum alloy version, so it's super light. Also, you can see these members run with the vehicle. What's great about that is it allows wind to pass through the roof rack, and so it's a lot less noisy uh, than something with a cross member on it. And also this has a great modular mounting system. So it has these slots in it that you can put your bolts right into. They stick up and it's really easy to mount whatever plates or brackets you need to. An example of how to manage the weight rating from your manufacturer is our 4Runner. What we have on here is within the limits of our manufacturer roof rating. Some people have the question though of how do you sleep on top of the roof rack and still maintain that rating? Well, the beauty is you're stationary so you're not having to worry about vehicle handling. So we open up that tent, two guys can sleep in there just fine. On our 2016 Tacoma, we have a roof rack that was custom made to go just over the front of the cab. This holds our alley boxes, which have a lot of cargo in them, and our jerry cans. On our 2013 Tacoma, we have the roof rack over the cab and the roof rack over the topper. On the back, we originally had a rooftop tent, and then the front was just for cargo. As of right now, you can see it's completely clean, it's great, we can throw whatever we need to on top. And we do have our light bar underneath and lights on the side. On the 2015 Forerunner, we've got a, just a plain roof rack that goes all the way across the top. It allows us to put our awning on the side. We've got a rooftop tent up top right now. And our max tracks, sometimes we'll put an alley box up there too. It's very versatile. When traveling in a group, my favorite setup for a roof rack is the tent with alley boxes on top. Quite frankly, you need a spot to put your stinky shoes. If I'm traveling by myself, I like a clean rack up top. It helps with the handling of the vehicle and it provides a sleeping platform. So there's a very quick synopsis of roof rack systems. I hope that's helpful to you. I know there's a lot of information that we haven't covered, so please leave questions and comments. I'd love to interact with you. And also please make sure you're staying within or under your manufacturer's load rating. We'll see you next time.